What's up everybody, it's Josh and we're going to be looking at a property today in the Bridgewood neighborhood of Stockbridge, Georgia. Uh, the address of this property is 126 Wildwood Road, Stockbridge, Georgia. We're going to specifically dive into the specific neighborhood that this property is located in, which is the Bridgewood neighborhood. A little bit of a brief overview for you. It's actually not inside of Stockbridge. It's a neighborhood that's just outside. It is in the top 50% as far as affordability goes for the Stockbridge area. And it's also in the top 50% for potential price appreciation, which means that the housing prices haven't gone up there nearly as much as they have in other parts of the Stockbridge area and it means that uh, you have a good chance of the prices going up in the near future as the other homes around it start to become a little more unaffordable. A couple little housing statistics for us real quick regarding this house specifically or the this neighborhood. 53% um, of the population in Stockbridge is renters uh, which is really good if you're looking to invest in that market. 5.1% of the rentals are vacant, well below the national average. About two thirds of the US has a vacancy rate quite a bit higher than that of Stockbridge or specifically the uh, Bridgewood neighborhood. 98% of the homes in the area were built between 1970 and 2024. Um, of that, percentage, 46% of them were actually made in 2000 or newer, which is really good as far as age of home goes, because that's gonna help drastically reduce the amount of money you have to spend in upkeep and maintenance to get it back up in good running condition. 59.9% or roughly 60% of the homes in the area are two or three bedroom rentals. Uh, the house we're looking at is actually a four bedroom uh, which definitely helps us with our larger families and stuff like that. We're one of few in the area, so we can charge a little bit more for our rent. As far as the economic landscape for the area, the income is higher than 43% of the U.S. as a whole, which is going to be good again for our rental income and ensuring that we are going to be able to collect our rent on a, a regular basis and not have the renters defaulting. As far as income growth over the last five years, it's been kind of steady, um, kept up with what the rest of the U.S. is doing, but it hasn't exceeded it. Um, obviously, we would like to see it go higher than that. However, I'm not going to complain about keeping up with what everybody else is doing. And a fun little statistic for the, or the Bridgewood neighborhood in Stockbridge, Georgia. Man, that's confusing say that 10 times fast exactly zero percent so not a single kid in the area lives in poverty um, which is better than 99 percent of the rest of the u.s uh, not going to complain about that it means they take care of each other they're a nice tight-knit community in the area all right diving into the real estate market um, the median home value in bridgewood is two hundred and five thousand, whereas the rest of the Stockbridge area is sitting right about 303,000. So there's roughly a $100,000 or 50% gain possibility there uh, just based on the rest of the houses in the area currently being worth 300,000 and this one that we're looking at the neighborhood we're looking in is 200,000. Market rent for Stockbridge, Georgia we're looking between $25 and $2,800. The one that we're actually looking at on Landa is rented out for quite a bit less than that. Currently, it's rented at $1,543. If we look at what Zillow says that it should rent for, it should be about $1,650. So we do have uh, some potential for some price appreciation there when the tenant goes to renew their lease. Uh, demographics for the area, I don't pay super close attention to this when I'm evaluating a rental, but it is important to know 34% uh, of the population is employed in a manufacturing or labor style occupation, and 26% of the population is in some sort of executive or management role 
I know that it's not necessarily in this neighborhood that we're looking at, but in Stockbridge as a whole, it seems like there's a, a big tech push. Um, I believe that roughly 60% of the jobs in the area are related to computers and stuff along those lines. As far as breakdown for languages, 80% uh, or 70 8% of the population speaks English, uh, with the Spanish-speaking population being secondary at 21.5%. Not, not a lot of cultural diversity in Bridgewood. Um, second, as far as cultural diversity, is about 17.4% for our Mexican ancestry. Uh, English ancestry is 86 and the one that surprised me is a Jamaican ancestry. Um, the, Jamaican ancestry came in at roughly four and a half percent. Other than that, I, most people identify as being Caucasian in the area. As far as safety in the area and the, the schools and how they're doing, according to crimegrade.org, the schools, or sorry, the uh, crime rate is about average um, for everywhere else in the U.S. Uh, they say there's one crime committed every four hours in the area which isn't awful. Um, obviously we'd wanna be in like an A or a B where that's closer to six or eight hours or maybe even longer in between uh, when crimes actually happen. But being, again, average with what the US is, I would not look away from this as being a area to invest in. 60% of the schools are ranked below average according to greatschools.org. That is a little worrisome. Uh, it's, you're gonna struggle to get new families to move into the area because they're not gonna wanna invest or put their kids in schools where they're not going to at least be doing average. Most parents want the best for their kids so they want them to exceed higher than that. Um, as far as investment potential in the area, Stockbridge as a whole has roughly 30,000 people in it. Uh, one of my metrics that I look at when I'm going to invest in a, a rental property is a minimum of 20,000 people in, in the town or the immediate area or a half hour drive to get to a bigger metropolitan city that has more than that 20,000. Here in this Bridgewood neighborhood, um, specifically being located in Stockbridge, Georgia, which isn't far from McDonough, does meet that criteria. Um, so we're over that 20,000. I do think that with the current prices being at 200,000 for the, the median home, we do have quite a bit of growth potential, uh, being that the rest of the, the neighborhood or the rest of the town is, are, are on average selling at roughly 300,000. Um, I think some of the big growth opportunities we have in the area is gonna be within the education. As soon as the area starts to pick up a little more than it already has, uh, getting some good teachers in the area to help uh, reform these schools and bring them up on the, what they can offer the students as far as education goes is going to drastically help um, drive our rent prices in the area. So to kind of wrap this all up for you, the current dividend on Landa is 4.63 cents per share. Um, they rounded up to five cents. Uh, so if I'm looking at it just based on the dividend price, based on their January 2024 dividend, my personal buy point is gonna be $4.63. Um, and then as the dividend goes down or as the share price goes up, um, my sell point on that is gonna be $7.93. Um, if I'm looking at it based on what the house is worth or the book value, um, my buy point is $7.48 and my sell point is $8.68. Um, in order to fa factor in my um, purchase price for both dividend and uh, book value, I have a formula I put together. It's what I personally am comfortable with investing at and, and slash selling at and everybody's gonna have some slightly different numbers. Uh, these are the numbers that I'm comfortable with. Uh, so again, that's based on dividend, $4.63 for a buy, $7.93 for a sell. Based on book value, 
$7.48 for a buy, $8.68 for a sell. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this is the first property review on Landa that I'm gonna do of many. Um, the, again, the property address on this one was 126 Wildwood Road, Stockbridge, Georgia, specifically located in the Bridgewood neighborhood. Um, if you have any questions or would like to see more of these or more, see some other information included, please drop a comment down below and let me know. Thank you.